Hello everyone, so in this video, we are going to discuss about measures of dispersion. A measure of variability or dispersion of a set of data is a number that conveys the idea of spread for the data set. So in the previous uh, discussion that we have about the measure of central tendency, it is all about the types of average, and that is the mean, median, and mode. So in this time, to measure the spread of dispersion of data, we must introduce statistical values known as the range, standard deviation, and the variation. So the range measures the distance between the largest and the smallest value, and as such, give us an idea of the spread of the data set. However, the range does not use the concept of deviation. It is affected by outli outliers but does, but does not consider old values in the data set. Thus, it is not a very useful measure of variability. So, we are going how to find the value of range that is get the highest value and subtract the as get the lowest value and subtract from the highest value or highest value minus the lowest value. So for example, we have the machine. Uh, this is a soda dispense using the uh, two machine. We're going to find the range of the numbers of owns dispensed by machine 1 and machine 2. So in machine 1, so as you can see the Greatest value is 10.07 and the uh, lower value here is 5.85. So, 10.07 minus 5.85. So, the value of our range is 4.22 ohms. And for machine number 2, so get the highest value and that is 8.03. And, uh, okay, the least value here is 8. No, 7.95 and then subtract 8.02 minus 7.95 and that is 0 0.08 ohms. So, next is the variance. So, the variance for a given data set is the square of the standard deviation of the data. So, to compute the variance of the population, we're going to use this formula. So, this is sigma squared is equal to the summation of the quantity of x minus minus uh, uh, we can read this as mu squared over n okay to compute the variance of the sample uh, we're going to use this symbol s squared the small letter s is equal to the summation of x or the quantity of x minus mu squared all over n minus 1 and for standard deviation, this is a measure of how sp spread out numbers are. So its symbol is this, the Greek letter sigma. So for getting the standard deviation of the population, we are going to use this formula. Or simply get the square root of your variance. Standard deviation of the sample, okay, we are using this. Wala na tayong square dito, only small letter s. Or simply you get the square root of the formula for the variance of the sample. So for example, so determine the mean of n numbers. Ah, okay, this is the procedures for computing standard deviation. Okay, first determine the mean of the n numbers. Second, for each number calculate the deviation or the difference between the number and the mean of the numbers. Third, calculate the square of each deviation and find the sum of the square deviation. Fourth, if the data is a population, then divide the sum by n. If the data is a sample, then divide the sum by n minus 1. And lastly, find the square root of this quotient in step number 4. So, the following numbers were obtained by sampling a population. 2, 4, 7, 12, and 15. So first, find the mean of the given data set. So, paano kinukuha yung mean? So, add uh, the given data set and divide by the number of 
the given data set. So 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 12 plus 15 divided by 5, that is 40. 40 divided by 5, so that is 8. So ibig sabihin, the value of our mean is 8. And for step number 2, we compute the variance. Since this is a sample, so we are going to use the formula for uh, getting the variance of a sample data. Okay, so bef so we are going to subtract. So isa-isa natin gagawin. So yung bawat uh, given, so start tayo sa 2, is subtract natin sa nakuha nating mean. And then squared plus yung kasunod ulit, 4 minus 8 squared. Plus, yung pangatlo, 7 minus 8 squared. Plus, yung pangapat, 12 minus 8 squared. Plus, 15 minus 8 squared. All over, so since this is n minus 1, substitute natin number, that is 5. So, 5 minus 1. And after that, using your scientific calculator, so... Uh, the result here in your numerator is 118. So, yung denominator nyo ngayon, magiging 4 na lang. Bakit? So, yung n minus 1, since 5 sila, minus 1, that is 4. So, therefore, the variance is 29.5. Ngayon, to get the value of our standard deviation, since uh, uh, this is uh, for sample given data set, so, we're going to use this formula or simply get the square root of your answer sa variance natin. So, square root lang natin yung, vari uh, standard, uh, yung variance natin para makuha natin yung standard deviation nyo. So, square root of 29.5, that is 5.43. So, ganyan lang pagkukuha ng variance and standard deviation. So, una, kunin nyo muna yung mean value nyo and then... So, uh, titignan nyo yung given problem kung population or sample and then you can decide what formula you are going to use. Since sa problem na to, sample yung uh, given na data set. So, therefore, ito yung ginamit nating uh, formula. Okay? So, and after that, pagkakuha ng variance, kunin nyo lang square root. Uh, kunin nyo lang square root ng variance nyo and then that is your standard deviation. Another example, okay, like for example in this situation. So, paano ba natin ma-apply si standard deviation? In this, uh, this is the application on how you are going to uh, apply standard deviation. Kadalasan, ginagamit rin siya kapag uh, sa mga honor student, lalo na kapag tay yung average nila. So, ang ginagawa dyan para... Uh, ma-break yung tie, they're going to compute using the standard deviation. So, kung sino mas mababag standard deviation, ibig sabihin, nandun yung consistency ng grades, so siya yung panalo. Or siya yung mas uh, mataas dun sa kakumpit niya. Okay, so, like for example in this problem, a consumer group has tested a sample of 8 size D batteries from each of the 3 companies. The results of the test are shown in the following table. According to this test, which company produced batteries for which the values representing R's of constant use have the smallest standard deviation? So, here is the given. So, the first company, the ever so bright, so given the R's of uh, constant use per battery, so meron tayong 8 batteries. 6.2, 6.4, 7.1, 5.9, 8.3, 5.3, 7.5, and 9.3. And for the second company, dependable, 6.8, 6.2, 7.2, 5.9, 7.0, 7.4, 7.3, and 8.2. And for the third company, we are the given R's are 6.1, 6.6, 7.3, 5.7, 7.1, 7.6, and 7.1, and 8.5. Ngayon, kukunin natin yung standard deviation ng bawat company. Okay, ng bawat company. Okay. So first, do yung ever so bright. So paano natin kunin yung standard deviation? Of course, kunin muna natin yung mean or yung average nila. So, 
Add lang natin yan, din divide by 8, so the answer is 7. After that, so pag, after natin makuha yung uh, value ng average ng batteries or yung mean value natin, so proceed tayo sa pagkuha ng standard deviation. So direct na natin, so ilagay na natin yung square root niyan. So isa-isahin nyo yung subtract sa mean value. So 6.2 minus 7 squared plus... 6.4 minus 7 squared plus hanggang sa makalating kayo sa dulo na 9.3 minus 7 squared all over 7. So, bakit 7 na lang to Since this is sample, so bawasan natin 8 minus 1 kaya 7. So, after that, pwede kayo gumamit ng calculator nyo. So, makukuha nyo dyan is 12.34. And then, square root of 12.34 divided by 7, that is 1.33 R. So, sa unang company natin, yung ever so bright, so the standard deviation is 1.33 hours. Next. Sa pangalawang company naman, yung dependable, so same process, add nyo lang, add muna natin para makuha natin yung uh, average or yung mean value natin, divide by 8, so the uh, mean value is 7. So, same dun sa unang company. And after that, Okay, substitute natin para makuha natin si, uh, yung standard deviation nito. So, 6.8 minus 7 squared hanggang sa, uh, dun sa dulo, 8.2 minus 7 squared divided by 7. So, you using your calculator, that is 3.62 over 7, get the square root, that is 0 0.72 hours. Okay, so sa pangalong company natin, 0 0.72 hours tayo. Okay, sa pangatlo. Okay, sa pangatlong company, so again, so same yung mean value nila. So, add and divide by 8. Then, substitute natin sa formula natin. So, from the start, minus natin dun sa mean value. So, 6.1 minus 7 squared plus hanggang dun sa dulo, yung 8.5 minus 7 squared. So, uh, that is 5.38 divided by 7. Okay, that is 0 0.88 hours. So, you can check uh, the answer using your scientific calculator. Okay, after that, so, ikukumpara natin. So, sa ever so bright, yung standard deviation natin is 1.33 hours. And then, sa dependable naman, that is 0 0.72 hours. And then, dun sa pangatlo, 0 0.88. So, Kung sino yung may pinakamababang standard deviation, so ibig sabihin, the batteries from dependable have the smallest standard deviation. So according to this result, the dependable company produced the most consistent batteries with regards to life expectancy under constant use. Okay? So that is an application of standard deviation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.